Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, we've got markets in the grain just a little bit higher. Uh, outside markets, you've got uh, stocks higher, the dollar is lower, uh, crude's a little bit higher, but you've got gold, um, coffee, cocoa, sugar a little bit higher, while silver, copper, and cotton are, are lower. Um, I think, first of all, yesterday, big sell-off in the grains, I think, had little to do with USDA numbers. I think that uh, there's concern that today's CPI data will be inflationary, forcing the funds to increase rates and also uh, push the U.S. into a recession. Uh, there's also concern about the global economies uh, with uh, recession talks, uh, maybe lowering demand for fuel and, and food. And we continue to watch China uh, demand uh, the USDA did lower uh, China bean imports, um, and uh, we'll just kind of see how their COVID lockdown uh, affects their demand. We continue to see daily purchases by feeders of meal to be low, and crush margins uh, remain uh, negative. As far as weather is concerned, uh, yesterday in the noon hour, GFS American model put rains across the central Midwest. Uh, today, the maps are drier, both European and GFS. We also have the 6 to 10 day and the 8 to 14 day maps that are warm and dry. So the question pops up is why isn't the market trading that? And a lot of people feel that a big chunk of the Midwest has seen good rains and have good soil moisture levels. So it'll take a while uh, for dryness and warm temperatures to deplete that. Uh, the, so the main areas of concern, Nebraska, South Dakota, Southwest Iowa, uh, Kansas, uh, maybe parts of Missouri, Texas and, and Oklahoma. So it, we really need, uh, if the market's going to rally because of weather, uh, conditions to start uh, dropping in Iowa and Illinois and Indiana and uh, more of the Delta. Uh, Europe remains dry and uh, that's raising concern about their wheat and corn crop. Again, the USDA didn't really make a lot of changes uh, to their corn and wheat outlook. USDA still has probably much higher than what actually might happen out of the Black Sea, both for wheat and corn exports. And uh, again, kept the U.S. corn yield at 177. Uh, they did lower the bean carry out, but uh, that seemed to be trumped uh, by the fact that people are worried about inflation and recession. Um, as far as the numbers are concerned, um, U.S. soybean crop was lowered 135 million bushels. But they lowered the crush and export numbers to get a 250 carryout versus 280. Um, the U.S. dollar continues to offer some resistance to the uh, market. Um, today, the Russians uh, turned off gas to Europe so for a maintenance, but we just wonder if they'll turn it back on. Um, also, Brazil and China has talked about signing a FIDO agreement to allow corn uh, to be exported from Brazil to China. Uh, USDA still has China uh, corn crop a record 271 million tons, despite uh, less than ideal weather. And um, <clears throat> today there's talks in Turkey between the UN, Russia and Ukraine on possibly opening up um, export corridors, but we doubt that the Russians will give in on what they want, or Ukraine will also give in on what they want. So again, uh, we're watching the markets pretty closely, and we'll see um, how everything unfolds after the CPI.